Okay, now we're going to do tarpanum today, and I'm going to teach you a secret behind uh, an advanced form of tarpanum. It's very simple. Here's what it is. For those of you that don't know how to do tarpanum, I'm going to take you through it. However, here's the secret. Dr. Pillai recently taught that the most powerful way to use tarpanum, do tarpanum for a specific manifestation because your ancestors may be one of the primary components that's blocking that manifestation. And again, this is not by ill will of your ancestors. Let's say you've been working on um, attracting a fulfilling relationship, but it just hasn't happened. Why is that? Think of your family lineage. How many people in your family lineage have had totally loving, supportive, giving relationships? If they haven't, you could be greatly impacted by the ancestral energy which is surrounding you all the time. The relationships of your ancestors could be impacting your own fulfilling relationship on a daily basis. Do a tarpanum for that. When you do the tarpanum, you state very clearly before you perform the tarpanum, I am performing this tarpanum for the new loving relationship in my life. And then that intention will be a very direct energy flow so that when you uh, ask your ancestors to be at peace and to be released, that you're also stating to them, it's time for me to live my life now. I'm going to have my loving relationship. And you are stating that as an intention for your tarpanum. This is very powerful. These are the kinds of secrets that only Dr. Pillai can give. Now you have three manifestations for the new year. So before you do tarpanum, those of you that wrote down your manifestations, you're going to have a powerful tarpanum experience right now. This is your first tarpanum of your new life in the golden age today. Please take another moment and be clear. Do you know your three manifestations? Do this tarpanum for your three manifestations because you're stating to your ancestors, be at peace. Let me help you cross over the river and be totally liberated because I'm doing this tarpanum for these three manifestations today. That's the purpose of my ritual. And we've got our volunteers all ready to help. Uh, they're going to come around and put a very small amount of uh, tarpanum material in your hands. For those of you that are not familiar with tarpanum, we have two videos on our blog where I go through step by step and explain everything about tarpanum. Tarpanum, tarpanum is an offering to your ancestors just to refresh everyone's memory. When you give them this food, this is the food that their soul recognizes. It may not be food to you, but this is food for the soul of your ancestor. Your ancestors are usually trapped on the earth plane, not able to transition into the light. By doing tarpanam every day, those of you that come from India, you know that you can go and have the priest do for you. You can do every day. It's the greatest act of self-service for your ancestors, the greatest act to help yourself. Their feelings, their thoughts, their frustrations, their desires. You're living that out because they're gathered all around you. <coughs> today is the new moon. You can be uh, particularly uh, conscious today. Do you feel limited today in some way? Do you feel uh, on new moon days, do you feel energetically limited or maybe down or more negative? Or That could be the energy of your ancestors. <coughs> So when you give them this food for their soul, they will be at peace. They won't be crowding closely around you. And ultimately, you are praying for their final liberation into light. Because you, you want that. You want that for your entire ancestral lineage. Then they are your greatest benefactors in life. That's why you're doing this tarpanum for your manifestations. You're going to pray to your ancestors Bless me. In your place of peace now, please give me these three manifestations. You're the greatest benefactors in my life. So first you do for them. You offer for them. Let them be at peace. Pray for their liberation. And then ask them, help me. Help me with these three new manifestations in my life. I'm going to lead you step by step through this tarpanam as the way that I personally do it. And because this ritual 
In this form was given by Dr. Pillai, I call on his spiritual name. And Lord Mahavishnu is the Lord of the place where our ancestors live, Pitriloka. In the name of Dattatreya Shiva Baba and Lord Mahavishnu, I make this offering first to 12 generations of dead ancestors on my father's side. Now, I'm going to count to 12. Every time I count, feel as if your soul is meeting the souls of the dead ancestors on your father's side. It's just a feeling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come and take this offering. Now, feel them feeding upon the offering in your hand. You may feel it as a tingling, either a physical sensation, a spiritual sensation. Maybe you feel their presence. And remind yourself and them, I'm performing this tarpanam for the three manifestations for my new life in 2012. State what that is now. Now, moving to your mother's side. I make this offering to 12 generations of dead ancestors on my mother's side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come and take this offering. Be still and feel them feeding upon the offering. In the name of Dattatreya Shiva Baba and Lord Mahavishnu, I pray that you all can be at peace. Cross over the river of life transition into the light and be fully liberated. Now imagine your ancestors disappearing into light. In your liberated state, please bless me with the three manifestations for my new life in 2012. Ask for that now. And relax. You can open your eyes. You're going to use this napkin to basically scoop up this from your hand. If you were at home, you would run this under running water, so this would run down your sink. But now we have to move very fast. We have a lot more material to cover. Everyone, please uh, scoop it up. Uh, dump the napkin at the, the plastic, bag. plastic bag at the back. Please wash your hands and come back. Maximum 10 minutes break. <laughs>